Hey guys, Shifty Kicks Second Games back again here today. And today we're back, um, going to do a review on an iHome color changing portable rechargeable inline speaker. Now I got this for Christmas and it looked interesting the way it was packaged and the way it um, looks. So I thought I could do a review on it. Let's open it All right here All right, so it looks like I have to cut it so I'll cut it and I'll be right back with you guys All right guys I got it cut open now the packaging says it has explosive sound. I'm not entirely convinced that this will have explosive sound. What we have in our packaging here is our customer service number, some more I, um, I home marketing for other products. A charge before use, a charge, this is a different language, a charge, charge before use. Alright, so, let's see what else is in here. So we have our USB-C. 3.5, I mean, not USB-C, USB-A, which is goes into, like, the power bricks or whatever, 3.5 millimeter head jack, and, uh, what is it, I think this is a mini jack USB, these things are old, when was this made? Looks like the patent is 2014. These connectors right here are extremely old. Like back in the early days of mobile phones, those are the chargers. You won't even find that on a mainstream phone today. It's usually micro USB, lightning, or USB C. But what is neat is that iHome has put a little connect um cable organizer on it so all your cables will be connected through one thing now i'm gonna do what the instructions say and uh charge it before i'm using it that's pretty cool that's pretty cool but um i'm gonna charge it and then i'll uh resume the video Alright guys, I'm back from charging it. It apparently takes 2.5 hours for it to fully charge. I put it on for about 30 minutes because it shouldn't take that long. Now, it has, this is the LED button right here. My light is fading it out. But, um, right here, you just press it. It's going to change. And whatever color you want it to stay on, you just hit that. It will stay on green or just turn off. We'll keep it like that, and it's and this speaker is really not. It's not um. I, won't, I don't know how to say it. It's not. It's not convenient because you have to have this, which is not even a widely supported uh camera type anymore. And then it um you have to carry around your phone in your pocket, which is basically like headphones using a three point five meter head jack. As you know, with phones in 2017, going in 2018, headphone jacks are becoming a thing of the past. What I want to test is this explosive sound that they are marketing with this device. Yeah, right, yeah, right. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. Boy, yeah, right, yeah, right, yeah, right. That 
was impressive. iHome, they they are a de- they're a decent sized company. I've seen a lot of their uh, um, spread out products, chargers, speakers, cases, whatever. I've seen a lot of iHome stuff, and this thing, this small little LED speaker pod right here. That, that is, imp- it's impressive. The base, it's amazing. It's got better base than my Google Home. And I told you guys, I love the base on that thing. It, it's not, the sound isn't rich. Let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. The sound is not better than Google Home. It's the base hits, like, stronger, more violent, which is some, I like sometimes on certain songs, certain songs I'm like the stronger, more violent bass. But when I do want that stronger, more violent bass, this speaker will provide. Now, the sound right here, that's that's a great speaker. I have to give props where props are due. And iHome, you deserve those props. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Share this channel with your friends, channel with your friends and family. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.